What up, y'all? It's your girl KZ, aka Mommy Wata, the mystical messenger over here at the Lighthouse Astro Tarot. And right now, I want to holler at y'all real quick about spiritual baths and speaking things into existence. So, if you dig what I do, you know what to do. Anyhow, now, it's in the energy, as I always say. You may be feeling like um, you need to do a lot of purging, a lot of organizing, a lot of cleansing of your space. Now, this isn't only in regards to like your your environment, your home, your car, your personal space, stuff like this. Uh, along with getting organized, you know, getting stuff out of the way and doing what we can to get things in place, right? A good thing that you can do is invest some of your time into doing a spiritual bath. Now, a spiritual bath doesn't have to be quite as intricate as some people make it sound. It can be very simple. Everything that you do on a daily basis is based off of intentions. So if you're someone who does not have, you know, access or funds to extra, you know, ingredients to add to your spiritual bath, the base thing, only thing you need to do is get some soap, some water, a rag, and your in your thoughts while you're taking your bath. So for my people without, you know, the funds to invest in other things for their spiritual bath, you know, as you are bathing, Take the time, you know, like as you cleanse your face, I am washing, removing all bad visions, all bad thoughts from my face. As you are washing your throat, uh, have the intent in mind to cleanse uh, your throat, to cleanse your throat chakra, to have in mind to speak good things, to um, speak the truth, have that come to speak, you know, just what needs to be said. Have a strong throat chakra. As you wash your chest, you know, uh, say that you know that you want to cleanse your heart of all ill feelings all ill will you know as you wash your hands you wash your hands of all negativity you wash your hands of all blood you wash your hands of all that are against you you know that is kind of what you know like even if you wash your um your man or your girly parts you know purging your those parts of your body of all negative entities all negative spirits all that good stuff that is a simple way that you can do a spiritual bath now if you want to take this a step further and go a little deeper into this these are just i'm gonna just give you all some ideas of what i do whenever i do my spiritual baths now <clears throat> The way that I usually do mine, I set the tone. I put me on some music or whatever, and I will go into my tub and get a nice hot thing of water. Now, there are certain ingredients that you can add into your bath, and each of these ingredients has different metaphysical uh, qualities to them. Some people add herbs. Some people add salt. Some people add flowers. There are even some food-grade products that you can add to your bath. So let's talk about it. Now, my favorites that I like to use for energy, I like to use coffee, fresh ground coffee. Simple as that. Now, and for um, to detox, you can use Epsom salt. Or if you want to go more natural, more organic, use Himalayan pink salt or black salt. That is a good thing to add to your bath. Get the coarse ground can. You can go out into your yard, find some flowers that you are drawn to. Those are good. Eucalyptus leaves. Eucalyptus is good. The thing about a spiritual bath is you want to use as much organic uh, organic and natural supplies as you possibly can. You feel me? You don't want to overload it with uh too many heavy scents, too many byproducts, too many parabens and stuff like that. You want to want this to be a natural purging. So another thing that you can use uh is flowers like azalea bushes are a good uh, flower to use. Rose petals. You'll see in a lot of uh, bath uh, hygiene products now that they include rose petals and things like that. You can get dried rose petals. Um, like I said, you can go to your garden and get some stuff. You can even use fruits. Like if you want to cut you, cut you up some kiwis, cut you up some oranges, cut you up um, just different little fruits and things like that to add into your spiritual bath. Okay, something else that you can use. Use milk. Uh, you can use organic milk or you can use some type of almond milk mm. and add that to your bath. Uh, milk is going to help soften your skin. The, all of these things are good for your skin as well, y'all. This is going to help soften your skin and it's also going to think about the land of milk and honey. It's stuff like that. Think, think of anything that adds to abundance, adds abundance to you. Coffee is a representation of energy. Rose petals is a representation of the ancestors. The Himalayan salt is a detoxifier. It is a purger of negative energy. So you can use those things and put into your bath. Now, 
You want to use coarse ground stuff, and if you don't want to clog your damn tub up, what I suggest is you get an old sock or something of that nature and put these ground, these coarse ground things into this sock and throw it off and get out. Have a good ass time. Light you some candles. Light you some incense. And a great incense for you to use for a spiritual bath is the Nag Champa because Nag Champa is a very relaxing incense. And it's also um it is also a purger of negativity. And it brings in positivity. Uh, you know, you can also look at other things like um the black onyx um or dragon's blood. Yeah, dragon's blood is great. Anytime you want to um uh, connect anytime you want to connect anything as far as um what the different um the different ingredients mean if you see anything like in the grocery store like say if you see oregano or say if you see clove or something like that if you're not sure of what the spiritual or metaphysical value of these things actually is take a moment to google it specifically put in spiritual benefits or metaphysical benefits of these things and that'll let you know what you're gonna actually get out of the spiritual bow okay next speaking things into existence now i said this before Whenever it comes, you know, in the first of the Bible, it says, um, God said, let there be light. And that was inclination into the fact that we can speak things into existence. Um, if you ever watched me before, you hear me talk about the power of your thoughts. Every single thing you do is based off of your intentions. I don't care if you're sitting on the toilet taking a dump. Whenever you're sitting on the toilet, you need to be thinking, I'm purging my body of all negativity BS when it comes to people, uh, obstacles in your life, all that good stuff, you feel me? But when it comes to speaking stuff into existence, we don't realize the power of our words. You know, Think about how many times somebody has said something negative to you, made you feel some kind of way. Think about how many times somebody has said something good to you and you got excited and it made you feel some kind of way. The, your thoughts and your feelings and your emotions is what powers it. So anytime that you say anything, like if I say the car is red, you can literally see that the car is red. We know that the car is red. That goes into speaking things into material existence. Now, I mentioned in one of my earth videos before now, you feel me, that this month is the beginning stages of the veil thinning. As we get on into October the 1st of November, the veil is going to be thinner. So put yourself uh, in a mindset to where, you know, things that you want to manifest into your life, Truly believe that you are going to have that. Believe just as believe one hundred, one thousand percent into what you into the things that you want, just as much as you do into the things that you know. Like I was saying, you know the truck is red, right? You know that without a shadow of a doubt. Whenever you want something out of life, and when you want God to really come in and take control. Whenever you speak these things, it's not a lie if you trust in God to do it for you. That's like I'm saying, I'm like, I know God is going to bless me to change my situation. I don't care how he do it, but I know he's going to change it for the bit, for my best interest within the next couple of months, right? So however that go, however that play out, I got to trust and believe and know that. You feel me? If I say I need two tires on the front end of my truck and I say, Lord, I need that. You know why I need it. You know, you give your examples and all that good stuff, right? That is going to give your reasons why. Give your intentions why. Why you're writing, why you're saying these stuff. Think about like how much of a panic you might be if you need two tires on the front of your truck. And you know you ain't got no way to go about getting it. You feel me? So it's it's one of those type things. If you feel that anxiety that maybe you're not going to be able to get it, nine times out of ten is going to manifest into where you're going to have difficulties or you're not going to be able to get it. Whenever you say, I need this, so I'm going to have that, I have spoken, I have asked, and it is so. And you believe that, that's whenever you start seeing manif stuff manifest into your life without you really having to move really a damn muscle. Watch your word for you. Until I see you next time. Bye-bye.